but you're better at home bolt cuts. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. I noticed the only time you have a hard time with undercuts is doing conventional because you never do them. Yep. It fired first pop when I freaking just fired it up. That's interesting. You can feel those steel bars, eh? That's interesting. You sure can't feel those steel bars, eh? Those heavy bars. So friends, we got a pretty tight shot.
Well, friends, good morning. Time for one of my my special little interjections. Um, it's four in the morning. F friends, this these scenarios when you're when you're chunking out a tree and you you knock a chunk down. Any tree guys here that have been in this situation? When it comes time to fall a stem. Like you can just keep chunking out. But as soon as I get off my lifeline, now I'm on my, my picks, hips, back, legs, feet. I'm just gonna give it to you straight. It's not good for me no more. It's just not. As much as I hate to say it, uh, I love the work. I do. Um, and if I could be steadily tied in at all times and have my weight on my, my, my saddle, it'd be wonderful. But that's not the case when it's time to chunk out a tree. Uh, those big chunk outs like that, yesterday's video, they're, 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 they're demanding. They're, they're physically demanding. They just are. Especially if you're struggling and fighting with your lining up your undercuts, it becomes a nightmare where we've all been there, friends, in the beginning, you know, when it's time to, to get into a big chunk out. There's, there's nothing you can do. You got to do it. So you need a bigger power saw. And you need a longer bar. So now you got to be further away from the tree, right? To get that saw out and it, it, everything changes. So anyways, but, but here I wanted to... I. We all get to this point where it's time to fall that stem, that, that, that big stem. Now, fine and dandy if you can get your power saw in there and you can see the tip out of your bar and everything just lines up nice. But as soon as you lose your tip, this, this is for, for new guys. As soon as you lose your tip, you something happens to you. You go, oh, well. Geez, I wonder what I got for wood over there. I got I got to somehow just use your sights. Trust your sights on your saw. So anyways, I just wanted to I really wanted for folks to see what visually happens on a big undercut and a back cut in a scenario like this, how we bring this stem over. It's leaning back for starters. It's not just going to walk away. This thing needs to be cut right up in order for it to go because it's got no foliage moving it or pulling it anywhere. We have a rope in it, but still it's a big stem and it's heavy and it's back. So again, it's got to be cut right up without cutting your wood off or one of your corners off. So I just wanted folks to see 
visually instead of just, you know, usually it goes on YouTube, zap, 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 and down it goes, hey, hey, look at me go, you rah, ha, ha. No, that's not the scenario here. This is how I do, I go about stuff like this. I don't put all the onus on the boys on the rope. They don't have to, they don't have to do anything until it's time to pull the stem. There's no point in them pulling their guts out. And another very important thing here right now, friends, I actually don't want them pulling until, until I get all my wood cut up nice and even across the stump so that that hinge works right on course, not, not like wide on one part so it kind of pulls one way because they do that. That's what they do. So I just tell them, just wait. So just just watch how I go. And I, I hope, that's why I wanted to do this on a separate video, friends, because I really hope this helps you, uh, somebody along the way. So let's get back into it and just, just watch how it goes here. Back at her.
Just a quick note, big stem. The boys aren't pulling. They're not wasting their guts on nothing. This thing's got wedges in it. There's a strip of holding wood across this thing. It's a big stem. It's a great big wide open undercut. We got to be bang on. So the deal is, is there's no sense in those boys reefing on that and wasting all their energy until I'm cut up. I don't know why I got here because the bar is not long enough. So I've cut, used my sights, so I'm just gonna come over and see what's right in here. There's something in there. Um, it doesn't look like it by the cut, but I can guarantee you there's something in there. Or it's just sitting back still. No, there's wood there. See that? See that wood right there? See it? Right there. There's wood there. And we're gonna get it right now. It'll probably loosen up now. So I get the boys to settle in on a pull here just to give this a dry run to see what's happening if we got any lift at all because we are cut up and it, it didn't really do much and they're pulling so I call the third man over he's overloading his, his pickup full of firewood you'll notice I just uh, I just tell the fella to go over there now he's a big sturdy lad so he comes over and gives us a hand here. So that was leaning back 
and it had literally had a teeny strip of wood on it. That's why I wanted to just don't pull, don't waste your energy. That's just right on the money. Oh, thanks. So here's the funny thing is, son, you know what happened to me years ago? Yeah. Is I would, I was wondering why my trees, which years ago, start going and then boom, and end up over there. I'm like, how my sights were. My undercuts were slivers. Yeah. They were slivers. They were going like this. Bing. Yeah. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying though. It closes up and. Well, and if it closes up over there sooner, like if it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uneven. I was saying that when you were chunking out. It's a working Dutchman. Yeah, I was saying you can have a Dutchman, you go to clean your Dutchman out. It still works the same as a Dutchman because you're wide open on this side. It just travels and, slow. And it doesn't travel, so it sends, sends your chunk off that's sideways. It. And that's why guys put little... Is that in the firewood? Is that the plan there? Yeah, yeah, let's find out what we want. Now, that's why guys put chunks of wood in there to... Yeah. So, uh... What what do you want here? It's up to you. You got all kinds of options. What what do you want here? It's up to you. You got all kinds of options. <laughs> Too many options. <laughs> well, and you don't have to make that decision right now. You you could honestly uh totally up to you. I want to show you guys something. Like you can, you can clean up around it. You can leave it here for a bit, make a decision. You call me back, I'll come and cut it. Louis, it don't matter to me if you want to think about it. Yeah, so, cause, cause I think to be honest with you, that that's that make unreal boards, unreal. Well, what I wanted was was two, three, and I was going to cut it in half right in the heart there, right? Oh, rip it. 